Let's make a Boca Burger Lavash Royale. Before I started eating plant-based, I enjoyed a specific type of burger called a Royale. It'll make more sense in a little while. To start this though, I need to do a little bit of prep. We have lettuce, tomato, and onion here. I'm just going to slice off the top of that tomato and make a couple of nice slices. By the way, you may have noticed a new knife in the stable. This is from Nakano Knives. They sent this to me to test out, and um, I have to say I'm kind of impressed. They did not pay for this video, however, so I do get to give my actual honest opinion. It's pretty nice. The wood handle is good. I think some of the studs are sticking out just a little bit much for my taste, but they're not like rough or going to harm you in any way. The blade is nice and thick and it holds a really, really good edge. So far, I'm pretty impressed with it. You'll see me using it throughout. Next is onion. I just want one or two. Derica, that's my wife, does not like raw onion on her burgers anymore, so I'll just put it on mine. And then lettuce. I just have here some iceberg lettuce that I'm just going to roughly chop up. It's probably way more than we need. Next thing we're going to need, tofu. This happens to be tofu that we got from Costco, but pretty much any firm tofu that you can get will work just fine. This was frozen that we thawed, and I gave it a bit of a squeeze just between my hands to get most of the moisture out. What I want to do is cut this into a burger size. So I'm going to cut about that much off the top. This is going to get used for something else. And then I'll just lay this on its side, and I want to cut out a couple of thin slices of this. It's going to act kind of like um, an egg. There's our two slices. This part goes away for another day, too. And I have here two Boca burgers, but you can actually use the burger of your choice. Any veggie burger will do, or any of the recipes that we've done for burgers on this channel. I'm also going to be using some chow cheese. Now, this is optional. It does add quite a bit of fat, and it's saturated fat. So, you know, be careful. One slice per person is okay, but beyond that, I wouldn't do it. But the real key to this recipe is this lavash bread. If you look at the size of it, it's pretty big, right? Now, let's check those calories. 60 calories for half a flatbread. So that means when I make one of two of these out of one lavash bread, it's 60 calories for the bread. Pretty cool. All right, so I have my little cooking station set up, and this is a grill pan that I actually got from Amazon. It works pretty well. I have the temperature on three out of five, because ours goes to five. And the temperature is about 300 degrees. So that's pretty much perfect. I'm gonna take my Boca burgers and drop them on. And you should hear some sizzle right away, just like that, perfect. Now for our tofu eggs, what I'm gonna do is lay them out a little, a little black pepper, little sprinkle of salt, very small sprinkle of salt. I grabbed way too much. And then I am going to put that face down on the grill, grill pan. Can you just use a flat pan if you want to? Of course, I just like the grill marks. They make it look cool. Now that they're in the pan, I am going to salt and pepper the other side. I tend to just kind of press that in a little bit with a finger. And we let these cook for a few minutes. Um, the tofu technically doesn't need to be cooked, but I like to give it a little bit of browning on the outside, adds a little texture. And the Boca Burgers, they were frozen, so they do need to cook. While that cooks though, I'm just gonna move our condiments out of the way and start working on our lavash. Now for this, I'm gonna make two burgers and I'm gonna use one piece of lavash, just like we said earlier. What I wanna do is cut it in half, as close to half as you can get. Then lay them on top of each other and then Picture four quadrants of this, right? And I'm just gonna cut right there, just like that. When I show you the assembly, that'll make a lot more sense. After about five minutes of cooking, it's pretty much time to flip. But what I wanna do is add some kalanamak or black salt. Don't mind the container, it's just where I keep it. I have about that much. It's like just a pretty good healthy pinch that I'm gonna sprinkle over those pieces of tofu. It adds like an eggy flavor to it. There's some sulfur compounds in that salt, but I wanted to get it in there before I flip them over. Very carefully, get your spatula under that tofu. It might stick a little bit. Remember, I didn't use any oil here. And then I'm gonna flip them over. Ooh, a little bit of grill marks, not too much. The tofu is pretty moist, so it's probably not going to get much grill mark, and that's okay. That was not the neatest way to do that, but it did the job. And now I'm gonna get under our Boca burgers and do the same thing. 
Got some grill marks there. They have grill marks on them from the factory, so you might get like a hash mark grill mark. And now more Kalanamak on the other side. The reason I do the Kalanamak towards the end is it tends to dissipate in cooking. So if you wanna have more of that flavor and aroma, you definitely wanna do it towards the end. Now I know many people have issues with Boca burgers. They don't like them for whatever reason. I actually really like them. You can use any burger you like. My lentil burger is good. My best burger recipe is good. Even my Beyond Burger clone is good. I like Boca burgers for this. They're just a nice, simple, you got them in the freezer. I also do not cook them the way most people cook them. Notice what I did, right into a grill pan, few minutes on each side. I want them to still be soft and juicy. If it's all dry, it's a hockey puck. Nobody wants to eat a hockey puck. Okay, we're getting really, really close to being done. So what I wanna do now is get my tofu out of the pan and onto one of the quadrants of our lavash. So see here, I have four quadrants with the cut like that. I'm gonna place a tofu right there. Placement is important. Okay, now that that's been removed, I can add my cheese to the burgers. We all know vegan cheese does not melt super well without some help. So I'm just gonna finagle these around a little bit. Just move them to the middle. To get it to melt, you need two things, a lid and a little bit of water. So I'm just gonna put some water right here and right here. And pop a lid on real fast because it was spitting at me. You want the steam is basically it. I'm just gonna turn the heat off because I don't need much. Let that sit for about 30 to 40 seconds and you have melted cheese. And just like that, we have perfectly melted cheese. So let me scoop these up out of the pan and get them onto their quadrant on our lavash, which is the upper right corner. I'll get all the rest of this out of the way. Be right back. Now on to assembly. Now, this is where it gets just a little bit interesting. What I like to do, and you can use any condiments that you like, but the order that I put them on is kind of important. I'm just gonna do a little bit of ketchup on the tofu. I like a little mustard on my burgers too, so I'm going to be using golden spicy mustard, the only mustard worth having. And I'm gonna put that on the burger. I'm joking about the only mustard worth having. Of course it's not, there's many. I just like this one. And then, we fold up the bottom half. I know it doesn't quite fit, it's okay. You know, do the best you can. Okay, now, tomato, onion. That's a lot of onion, but it's okay, I'll eat that. Pickles, they always look like a smiley face to me. And some shredded lettuce. Now this is where it gets a little bit complicated. The lettuce might not fit on there real nice, but it's a burger, they aren't really neat and precise. They're supposed to be messy and gloppy. Then the hardest part you have to do is you want to take this side and flip it up onto that side. And there you have your burger. Let me do this on this one too. Boom. Just like that. And we have our two Boca Burger Lavash Royales. Time for a couple of pictures and then I'll be back to show you how it tastes. All right, so it is time to taste. And I'm gonna choose the one with the onion so that Derek can have the other one. But take a look at that. You got your tofu on top for the egg, ketchup, mustard, all the fixings in the middle, and a burger. Let's take a taste. If you like burgers, like I like burgers, you're gonna love this. Go ahead and make one of these, and we'll see you next time on The Bistro.